The President, His Excellency Adam Obaro, had a number of bilateral meetings with fellow heads of state and leaders of individual delegations during the 15th OIC summit. President Obaro and his Sierra Leonean counterpart, His Excellency Julius Madabio, discussed bilateral relations between the two countries and reaffirmed their joint commitment to consolidate the existing excellent foreign relations between Banjul and Freetown. President Barrow also received the President of the Republic of Djibouti, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele. The two leaders held talks to discuss the situation in the Middle East and the Horn of Africa and renewed their joint commitment to work together to promote peace and development. A delegation from the People's Republic of China, led by the Vice Chair of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, Zhen Jianbang, also called on the President. Mr. Zhen is a special envoy of Chinese President Xi Jinping and his representative at the summit. His meeting with President Barrow was meant to reassure him that China stands ready to work with the OIC to deepen cooperation. Other delegations also held bilateral meetings with President Barrow. The Foreign Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Muhammad Isaac Dar, congratulated the Gambia for hosting a successful summit and expressed belief that President Barrow will successfully steer the affairs of the organization in the next three years. He spoke of his country's readiness to partner with the Gambia to enhance economic cooperation in diverse areas. Uh, we have a great scope. Uh, it's A, to begin with the Muslim country. The trade volume right now, the affection and sincerity uh, is tremendous both sides. We, we, we love all of our Muslim, uh, you know, brotherly countries. Uh, but uh, the volume is very small uh, because of, uh, obviously, uh, the size of the country, the population. But, uh, you know, apart from that, there are many areas where we can do, uh, you know, we can increase the trade volume. Uh, for example, pharmaceutical, uh, surgical goods, uh, rice you use, uh, and then medicines, uh, football, you play soccer. So, you know, we have a number of, uh, you know, areas where we can expand our uh, mutual uh, trade uh, and economic uh, relationship. Several more dignitaries, including Redno Marsuri, Foreign Minister of Indonesia, Mbela Mbela, the Foreign Minister of Cameroon, and Riyad Al Malik, the Foreign Minister of the State of Palestine, also separately held talks with President Baro. Besides the Foreign Ministers of these countries, President Baro also granted audience to the Director General of the International World Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, Dr. Salim Al Malik. The ISIS co head discussed possibilities of widening cooperation with the Gambia in the areas of education, science, and culture. Finally, President Barrow met the Secretary General of the Digital Cooperation Organization, Dima Al Yahya. Ms. Al Yahya said her organization is committed to partnering with the Gambia to provide knowledge in terms of digital economy and described the summit as a platform to share experiences on enhancing cooperation in technology. We have been uh, very fortunate to sign a, uh, an MOU and become uh, uh, hopefully an observer to the OIC to help all the uh, uh, member countries of OIC. Uh, of course here uh, we are very happy to be here in the Gambia, not only just to uh, uh, join the 15th edition of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, of the summit uh, of OIC, which I congratulate uh, Gambia for uh, chairing uh, this uh, season and also the uh, meetings coming ahead, but also we're very honored to have Gambia as a member state in the Digital Cooperation Organization, and that showcases the forward thinking of the Gambia. The foreign ministers and heads of the delegations that met the president all praised the Gambia's hosting of the summit and reassured that they will work with the new chairman, President Barrow, to promote the values of the OIC. Momoru Jalo, GRTS News.